Good morning. So you may recognize where I am. I'm back where I did my third year clerkship for two weeks of general surgery. I'm super excited to be back. It's a lot less stressful because you know the hospital, but also like a different kind of stress because you're working with people who know you and I feel like they expect you to improve since it's been a year. Okay, so I'm heading to the ER because somebody just got shot in the neck. Aloha, so I'm just chilling here in bed. I'm on call tonight on my first day back, so that's really exciting. I'm just waiting on the OR because we're gonna do an open appendectomy, one of my favorite surgeries. I think it's such a cute procedure. I feel like cute is the wrong word, but it's so satisfying. Just like a small incision, you take out this nasty little appendix, people go home and they feel a lot better. I made the mistake of putting my feet up and now I don't want to get out of bed, but I'm going to go check, see how much longer the wait is for the OR on the appy. And then if it's going to be a while, I'll go and do my tuck-in rounds. Okay, so appendicitis patient is not yet in the room. So I'm just going to do my tuck-in rounds quickly and then I'll head back down. Okay, just finished tucking rounds. Fingers crossed, everything is good. So yeah, just had to explain like a procedure to someone. They had like their son in and they wanted to know what happened in surgery. But other than that, no concerns. So hopefully I sleep through the night. About to scrub a dead. Okay, surgery went well and it's bedtime for me. So I will see you tomorrow. So it's 2 a.m. I'm heading to the OR. We've got a bowel perforation that we have to do, an emergent laparotomy on, so really big abdominal surgery coming up. Yeah, 3 a.m. Gonna head into the OR for another surgery. Finished surgery. It's 5 in the morning. I don't know if it's worth it to close my eyes for like 30 minutes. The surgery was super cool though. We thought it was a small bowel obstruction, but when we got in there, it was just like this crazy looking small bowel. Surgeon who's been working for like forever says he's never seen a bowel that looks like this. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We did a nice big laparotomy, so big incision, opened up the patient and had a good look. Good morning. It is day two of life on general surgery. I also got to do some intubations, which was a really fun time. So I'm trying to make this presentation for next Monday, about a week ago or a week away. I literally have 0.5 of a brain cell left. Good morning. It's another day of living the dream on general surgery. Uh, it's been a little slow to be honest. I think just because it's still summer and surgeons like to take vacations <laughs> during the summer, but it's been good so far. Today's Thursday and I'll be on call tomorrow. Okay, so I just finished surgery. I got to do a running subcuticular to close and I have to say like, I finally, finally get it. I've done this stitch a million times, but Today, I was like one with the dermis. It finally, like everything, everything clicked. So I just did a big bowel surgery. No, I, I scrubbed in for a big bowel surgery and I just saw literally the biggest cecum ever. This cecum, like a cecum is part of your large intestine and it should maybe be like that big. It was the size of like a, a baby's head, bigger than the baby's heads of like babies I've delivered here. It was insane. They like opened him up and it popped out and I was like, oh my god, this thing is huge. So it was really cool to see. Unfortunately, this patient might not make it, which always kind of makes me sad. But I guess it's kind of nice to know that going in and then you're like mentally prepared. So we're just going to watch and wait and see what happens. Good morning, just heading off to round. Came in a little bit earlier today because uh, all the third years are writing their exam. So they will not be here to round on their patients. So I'm gonna try and see them. We'll see how it goes. 
Just getting ready for bed. I think I may actually get some sleep tonight, so that's pretty exciting. This is me sort of kind of trying to do skincare whilst on call. So I'm up a little late tonight because we had a patient with acute cholecystitis, which really as long as they're not septic or like have ascending cholangitis, it's not like an emergency emergency. It's like try and do it sooner rather than later, but we'll do all the more important surgeries first. So then you kind of end up going in the middle of the night to take out the gallbladders. Good morning. I'm very tired, but there's patients to round on. So, gotta get my butt out of bed. Ooh. So I just finished putting together my presentation for rounds today. Okay, so I'm at the hospital about to do my presentation. I remember I presented for the general surgeons in third year and I was so nervous. <laughs> I'm definitely a lot more relaxed this time around. Not like totally relaxed, like there is some cortisol in my system, but I just have contacts and you know, I realize that's not nearly as big of a deal as I made it out to be in my head this time last year so it's just kind of fun hopefully it's an enjoyable presentation hopefully the third years learn something and maybe the general surgeons will learn something so it's currently 11 30 we've got one more surgery to go we've had some really big abdominal surgeries tonight while on call which is really awesome to see but uh very exhausting one of the worst things about being here late at night is it gets really cold, especially in the OR core, but luckily there's nice warm blankets. Don't mind if I do. This is my very glamorous lunch. Just going for a run along the river. Just rounding on my patients. Might read up on some IPMN because one of my patients has that and like I've heard of it before but I don't really know how it works so. Okay so IPMN also known as intraductal papillary mucinous neoplasm is a tumor of the duct cells in the pancreas. So if this is our pancreas here, we've got our duct here, and then you get a tumor of the duct cells. These are columnar epithelial cells that produce mucus, and then you get this big like mucus collection here. So yeah, these tumors have a 50% chance of becoming malignant, and also in the case of my patient upstairs, they can cause pancreatitis. Hello, so finished surgeries for the night. I'm just here in bed getting ready. Um, I think in one of my previous videos, I complained about the pillows because they make your face really sweaty. Because this is the pillowcase, which is fine. But the actual pillow is like this rubbery stuff so that they can wipe it down. However, I just thought of a pretty good life hack for not getting a sweaty face. Um, so we have like these laundry carts all around the hospital. We've got one on the floor that have towels. So if you put a towel underneath the pillowcase, between the rubbery stuff and like where your face goes then you won't get sweaty face okay so now we have a smooth pillowcase towel underneath so no sweaty face and then weird rubber pillow underneath that and you might be wondering like okay Kian, why did you waste all that time putting the towel inside the pillowcase why didn't you just put the towel on top well i don't want to wake up with like indents from the towel on my face so we have a smooth surface but we're not gonna sweat. Part of me is like, this is genius. Why didn't I think about this sooner? And then part of me is like, Kian, you're literally crazy. It's just a pillow. So yeah, well, to my brain at 1 a.m. I'm gonna go to bed. Clearly I am losing brain cells by the minute and this is the end of the vlog. Thank goodness. So I will see you in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did because Gen Surge is freaking awesome. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.